This video explores the effects of cell phones on the environment. We'll look at the evolution of the cell phone, see a sales timeline and growth projections, see what kind of contents are in cell phones, look at some of the numbers, find out some of the phenomena such as in the drawer, and figure out what we should do to help curb the impact on the environment. Let's watch a quick clip to remind us of the cell phones that we've seen up until now. Since 1985, there have been sharp year-over-year -year increases in cell phone sales. 2010 projections forecast the production of 1.3 billion units. To date, humans have manufactured over 9 billion cell phones. Most cell phones contain circuit boards, antennas, displays, keyboards, microphones, speakers, and batteries, many of which contain toxic heavy metals. These dangerous substances cause serious pollution and put workers at risk of exposure when the products are produced or disposed of. Of particular concern is the exposure of children and pregnant women to lead and mercury. These metals are highly toxic and can harm children and developing fetuses, even at low levels of exposure. On top of the energy and cost associated with extracting materials that go into a cell phone, the disposal of cell phones often leave a toxic imprint on the environment. That's because printed circuit boards contain toxic metals including lead, nickel, and beryllium. Liquid crystal displays contain mercury. Batteries may contain nickel and cadmium, particularly older ones. Plastics may contain brominated flame retardants that are toxic and persist in the environment. Studies suggest they accumulate in household dust and in the food chain, and they have been detected in some fish. So, how big is the problem? There are two cell phones for every three people on Earth. Americans use their phones for only 12 months, one-fifth of the product's already short lifespan. Cell phones are 3.5 times greater in number than PCs worldwide. Today, there are nearly 700 million phones in China alone. and the pace is accelerating. Teenagers are increasingly adopting cell phones as a status symbol and a means for socializing. The telecom industry is bigger than both advertising and the computer software industries, with no signs of slowing down. The rate at which we dispose of our cell phones is also increasing. Cell phones have the shortest lifespan of any major consumer electronic. We are creating 65,000 tons of garbage each year and recycling only around 1% of our discarded phones, despite the fact that the average phone 
contains about $1 in precious metals. You may want to pause the video here to read this New York Times article clip. The headline is that most Americans do not simply throw away their old phones. Instead, they stash them in a drawer or in a storage box. The implications are that they are not recycling, which may be a good thing while e-waste recycling is still in its infancy. However, the challenge will be to encourage people to eventually unpack their boxes or open up their desk drawers and recycle their phones. What should we do to try to prevent further pollution? Increase overall awareness? Encourage or incentivize longer cell phone holding times? Hold manufacturers responsible? Charge consumers a recycle tax? Encourage manufacturers and carriers to promote recycling? It's my opinion that the answer is yes to all of these. Could we also somehow incentivize consumer recycling? standardize e-waste recycling procedures, regulate manufacturing and recycling practices, develop more eco-friendly technology? Again, the answer is yes. As an individual, you can help by keeping your phone longer. When it is time to get a new phone, donate or recycle it. Here is a list of retailers that the EPA has identified as recycling drop-off stations. What else can you do? Again, keep your phone longer. Perhaps join a cause, such as a company or charity working towards the issue. Contact your politicians. Continue to stay informed. Share your information with others. And perhaps start a business that helps to solve the problem. For additional information about this growing issue, search for the Secret Life of Cell Phones, a video by Inform. You can also read The Afterlife of Cell Phones, a detailed article from the New York Times.